Hello everyone, this is Autonomy at Home School. Today I'm going to show you this robot. It has two color sensors, two wheels, two motors, three balancing wheels, and one controller. Oops. Oops. Okay, the job, of, the job of this robot is to, here, is to run all the way here, all the way from here to here. So the line we go, the line the robot is going here. The line robot the robot is going is going to be whoopsies, 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 and. Oops. Sorry, I'm not that good at drawing. So let's maybe build some line like this. Um, okay, let's go see the software. So the software here. I have four main. I have four main my blocks and one main program. So let's look at the first my block. Uh, I have four main my blocks is line tracking, turn left, track seconds, and then right. Okay, let's look at line tracking first. So line tracking, the purpose of it is to catch like it's like track until it sees a black line, it stops. And if you in if you input it, the first input number one to be true, it will move forward. If you input it into into false, like this it will not move forward. If it sees the black line, so here is how much. Here is the input of how much you want to go forward, and here's the input like here's the input for how how much you want to track seconds before you go into the line tracking i mean like it's like if it's like if the robot's like this right you want it to go fast and then go slow if the robot's like this you want to go fast first and then go slow so i put the track seconds before i use the main tracking if i want to like go forward for one second and then just then do after that, do a line tracking. I'll change the value into the same value I made first. Okay, and this is how this input number is about how much you want to go forward. If if you make this input into true, you move forward, right? And this one shows you how much you want to go forward. Okay, let's look at this one block. It's turn left. You might be like question. You might be like thinking like why 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 is it like this? Can't you just do something like wait, do something like this? Move it for degrees. The the point is something why I want to do something like loop and then stop and then do it at a time because I want it to be like. If it can't be 100% sure, I just want it to be like 70 or 80, something like that. I don't want, I don't want to ro I don't want the robot like, you play the first time and then it works. And then, you play the first time it works, but then the second time, boo. I, I want it to be sure that it goes to the finish line. And you know, track second is just like line tracking, but there's no the value and no, no like, no, this in no, it's less input value and it gets out of the loop by using seconds. If if you put the robot on the black line, on the crossing line, right, and you use track seconds, if it's on the black line, it will still go moving because the track second is for like speed. I want to go fast and then. After that, slow. I put, I I don't actually like put something like this. I don't do something like this. 
I just wanna. So I want to make the the program shorter. So I put the tracks again into line tracking. Okay. Turn right is just like turn left, but it changed the power that you can see. Okay. okay, that's it. Let's see how it works.